I'm Megan from PopSci.com, and today I'm going to show you an excellent way to protect the sensitive documents in your wallet from snoopers. Snoopers, you ask? How could snoopers get into my wallet? Well, these days, many documents, such as passports and credit cards, are equipped with RFID chips, radio frequency identification chips, that allow the customs officer to quickly scan your passport, you can even swipe your way into the New York City subway if you have a specially equipped Citibank card, like myself. But the bad news is that there are bad, bad people out there who have little RFID scanners in their pockets and sometimes these hackers will bump into you and get the information from your RFID code and steal your identity. We are going to make sure that doesn't happen. There are several ways that you can go about disabling an RFID chip, and a competing technology magazine, whose name rhymes with Schmired, recommends striking your document with a hammer to remove the chip. We don't think that's such a good idea, because until RFID technology is standardized internationally, that could leave you stranded in Turkmenistan or Kathmandu with no passport to get you home. So. some aluminum foil and you make it into the standard wallet shape which if you've ever owned a wallet you might be aware that that shape is similar to a dollar bill. I'm just guessing here but you know I've seen a dollar bill or two in my day and they look kind of like that. Then you take your new wallet protector, slide it into the money spot, and when you fold it up, it provides a metal barrier against RFID scanners. Aluminum protection. Also, good for making hats. You can't steal my mind. I'm Megan Miller for PopSide.com, and this is the 5-Minute Project. Make sure to visit our website to see all of the other projects out there. <laughs>